Your temporary graduate visa 485 is a pathway to Australian PR. In today's video update, we'll summarize a very common pathway to permanent residency for temporary graduate visa holders for 85 visa. This is particularly for candidates interested in applying for general skilled migration visas, subclass 189, 190, or for 91. Are you wondering if a graduate can apply directly for Australian PR? Generally, candidates will not have sufficient time or fulfill the requirements to apply for PR immediately after their graduation. Holding a graduate visa is extremely advantageous for acquiring PR. The true significance of the grad visa is that it permits the holder to live and work in Australia in your occupation. Living and working in Australia offers you a massive advantage in being invited for an Australian permanent residency. Another significant benefit is that the grad visa allows you to develop the work experience needed to pass a skill assessment. To pass the skill assessment in your occupation is important for any PR work visa. So what types of permanent work visas are available in Australia? There are two primary types of permanent work visas in Australia. Employer-sponsored, subclass 186, for 94, and 482. Or general skilled migration, subclass 189, 190, or for 91. However, today we'll be discussing the general skilled migration pathway, subclass 189, 190 or for 91. For this visa, candidates are not sponsored by any company. Instead, they are nominated by immigration, or a state or territory. This process implies, they are not bound to a particular company, which furnishes more versatility, and is far more favored than employer-sponsored visas. Lately, the most common visas for graduates, are the state-nominated subclass 190, or regional-nominated subclass for 91. Both of these visas, have the same process. Why is proceeding to the graduate visa important? The graduate visa permits candidates to develop the time to satisfy state nomination requirements and the time to work in the industry to pass a skill assessment. If you're an applicant in Australia who wish to apply for these visas, you will need to have a full skill assessment in many occupations, one year of post-qualification. And to live and work in that state, in your profession for a specific period which is usually 3 to 12 months. We have reached the end of today's video update. Subscribe to our channel to get more of the latest Australian immigration updates. Thanks for watching.